All right, I've got almost everything taken off. I'll go ahead and pull the harmonic balancer. Uh, thought I'd shoot a video on that real quick. LS is a little bit different than most harmonic balancers. If you're gonna do them, you're gonna have to order or get special tools. Now, a lot of people say you can't get them at AutoZone, stuff like that. You actually can. The installer is going to be a long reach installer, part number OEM, part number 27306. That's it right there. It's actually going to cover Chrysler, it's what it's mainly going to be made for and advertised for, uh, and GM on the inside, but they're going to have it as Chrysler, uh, Jeep, Dodge, and Ford. Ford is the metric 12 by 1.5, Dodge is 1.75. Another Dodge is 14 by 1.5, and your GM is going to be the 16 millimeter uh, by 2.0. So, kit's going to look like this. This is your install kit. So, you can get them there. Uh, you can order them online cheap. This one right here, I actually went in and bought this as a, it was a new, fresh open. But it was technically like a loaner tool type thing. And I got my, uh commercial account discount on it which wasn't bad the puller it's going to be a special puller 6667 is the one that i have this is what my box looks like uh it's otc i want to say i ordered this online i might not have basically it's what it's going to look like right here you think okay that's your regular jaw puller it's not these pins can be popped out Switched around, so you can switch this around. But for GM, you need it just like this. And it comes with a bag of rods. The longest one's the one you're going to use. As you see, it's been up pretty good. These things are on there pretty damn good. Uh, so... basically what you're going to do slide the rod in here the rod's going to go into the crank you want this at the right depth to put your forks in so i have this one too far and i'll do a close-up so you can see where how i'm hooking them in there found out a little bit more information about this motor here this is a GTO 6.0 liter. Um, so it's not it's not a truck 6.0. That's why the oil pan looks the way it does. I'm gonna bring you up here. So, all right, get my fat fingers out of the way. As you can see, the hooks go in on the inside, and there's these little tabs. You can barely see one right here and it hooks around it on all three uh another thing on the oil pan that's how i figured out is a gto the oil pan looks like an old ford reverse sump which makes it where it sets down on the ground good if you set it directly on the ground but that's why i had to get that new oil pan uh i had to get one either way but this right here is the GTO. They are popular. People do actually want them. So I'll hang on to this one. And uh, I'll end up selling that uh, to somebody that needs it. Because I definitely don't, don't need it. Or want. Right. I don't remember as long as that is. Yes, I could. I don't want to use that. I'm gonna put an actual socket on there. Thought for sure that's gonna be gonna be an oddball size. It's been a while since I used it. I don't remember if it's metric. Yeah, 19 mil. Hmm. All right. Oh, anyhow. Uh, 
got. And as you see, you see those three tabs right here? It's what you're hooking on to. One there, one here, one here. So hook on to all three of those tabs and then just screw it in and it will spit it right out. When it comes to storing it, put the rod. That's a rod I always use, so I just set it in there. Uh, I don't leave this threaded in. And before each use, I like putting a little bit of graphite or anisees on here just to keep it spinning in and out real good. So, I got an old school harmonic balancer and installer. Like I got a blue point one, paid a lot of money for it. I haven't used it in a long time. You're not gonna use it on the LS. Uh, so if you decide to do one, be prepared to do the loaner tool um, or pick one up. Amazon, eBay, something. I'm not much for eBay anymore. Uh, I've got burnt too many times, but I do like Amazon. So, anyhow, there's that. I'm going to go now and go ahead and pull the water pump off, tensioner off. I'm not going to reuse that tensioner anyhow. Um, start taping stuff off, getting it ready to uh, start scrubbing up the motor. But I think that's going to be about it for the night. So, thanks for tuning in. Comment, share, like. Have a good one.